Now, somebody asked me in the comments, I think maybe it was Logan or somebody, they asked me what the volume indicators were on my chart. So, or my indicators and if they could use them. So here I'm gonna show you guys a screenshot because I don't know if you can see these on the screen. So these are my indicators right here. So I use my own indicator, which 8471 is the same as 847, which is the same as 846. 846 is the latest version. You know, 8471, I just added a seven um, because I was working on the next version, but it's really got nothing added to it yet because I've been so busy. But don't worry, when there's any new updates, you guys will, you know, definitely get it. Um, PVP is the periodic volume profile. This is also, let me up, load up Discord. So periodic volume profile is something that displays a volume profile periodically um, to your own um, desired period. Now, I want to state that these are all indicators that are provided by um, TradingView. I do not recommend using any kind of paid indicators or using anything that is, you know, all that shit's just BS, right? You don't need that stuff. You really don't. Okay, all you need is an understanding of the market. You don't need a free trading view, or sorry, you don't need a paid trading view at all. These ones, I think you need a paid trading view to use these, but they're not essential. They're really not. Okay. You can get the same information from these indicators, this PVP and VRVP, by drawing your own volume profile. Because this stands for periodic volume profile. So all it does here is your volume profile is on the right side. This is a fixed range volume profile because it's fixed to a range that you draw, right? So all the periodic one it does is just plot these based on a period. So I'll show you. So this period I have it set to one week. However, I have the VAHs and VALs turned off. But if we turn these on, you can see that this plots a volume profile based on a periodic or period that um, I set it to. So one week, one day, one month. <laughs> Excuse me, sorry. I don't know why I'm coughing. I don't think I'm contagious, guys. It just burns when I pee. But anyway, so there's one week or one month. And this would be like your weekly POC or your monthly POC, right? And then you can have uh, prior weekly POCs or PW um, or prior monthly, all that stuff, right? or PD, POC, past daily, right? So what I did was mine, was I set it up to where it doesn't display value area highs and value area lows, or the volume profile, and it's just the POC. So you can see the kind of like the weekly strongest volume area. Sometimes I change the monthly, right? Because all, all a trading is, is just moving in between supports and resistances or volume areas, right? So you can get the same thing this PVP is the same thing as drawing a volume profile for this range. The same exact thing, see? It's just that this indicator built into TradingView just draws the periods for you, okay? Sometimes I have it on, sometimes I don't have it on, right? Sometimes, you know, a week is, you know, just it's just a period, right? A week is just an inanimate time in the calendar. That sounded deep, but anyway. The next one is visible range volume profile. This is the same exact thing, except it draws a volume profile based on what's visible on the screen. So this is the same thing as literally taking a volume profile and drawing it for what you see on the screen. And if you look at this over here on the right side, which is my visible range volume profile, wrong one, over here on the right side, you're gonna see how it matches up with this one over here. Okay. So it's the same thing as drawing volume profiles all over your chart. You don't need pay trading view. These are just like some convenient um, features that <coughs> excuse me, a pay trading view has included. Now, if you join the discord for 1995, I'm just kidding. It's free, but anyway, if you join the uh, discord and I think a lot of you guys have, and you scroll over and you, Look over here in the Academy um, section. There's a channel called J Settings. In this channel are all the settings that I use for these 
volume profile indicators on TradingView. Some of these do require a paid TradingView, but again, listen to my words carefully. These are all volume profiles. It's the same thing as just drawing them manually. It's the same exact thing as drawing them manually. And before they even had these, these indicators, these um, advanced like volume indicators that for like automation, what we did in my day, back in the day, you know, is what we did back in my day was we had to draw our own, obviously. We had to walk both ways uphill and then we had to draw our own lines, our own volume profiles for current and past uh, ranges. So I'm going to unhide them for you so you can see them all, okay? So you can see that I've got volume profile lines over here on the right side drawn for almost every range on Bitcoin. For in the event that when we come back down to a new range, I'll already have these volume profile lines uh, drawn out so that I'm ready for when I coin moves down to a new range, I know exactly where it's going to be, you know, where the, the key lines are, where it's going to be bouncing up and down. So this is something that is, you know, recommended to do for any of these coins you like trading. And I did this for most coins um, for when I came up with this, you know, long hit list in the Days Money Printer channel. I went through into TA on all these coins at these lower ranges so that when they do fall down to these new ranges, we have the key levels here. And that's how we're able to wick all these bottoms.